Hey YouTube, Magic Mike XXL here. I am doing a repair video on my dishwasher. It is a Bosch dishwasher, and I'll take you over here and show you the model number on the side of it here. Good evening, YouTube. Magic Mike XXL here. I'm going to do a repair video on my dishwasher. I'll uh, take you over to it and. Um, get you the model number. Let's pull this down here. So I already took the front cover off and the model number is right here. take a photo of it and pop it in here probably so to get this thing out um, at the top of this door let me put this light away at the top of this door there's a screw where's my finger screw here at the very top of the door and at the other mm -hmm. other top of the door there's also a screw and that's to get the white panel off the front and there's also, I didn't know how to take this thing apart originally, but around this uh, perimeter there's also screws all around here and all the way down on both sides. So I took all those out also. So anyway, that panel, once you get those uh, once you get all those screws out, it uh, comes to this here. Let me get this set up here. Anyway, um, this is the outer white panel that comes on it. Like I said, it's a Bosch. You see that there's uh, four buttons on one side and this uh, is a display for how many minutes you have left and then there's an on and off switch this one's white they also made this in stainless and then um, behind and then behind this white cover um, snapped this metal piece like so or the handle fits in okay and the the problem was there is a this white control box and you can see here these um, switches they correspond to the buttons here they just correspond to the buttons here and the dishwasher was running and it started uh, smoking out of that control panel so I didn't know what the heck was wrong with it so what I did is I took these panels off and I took this unit out of out of there okay and then this unit um, you know you know you know it stinks I mean it's like a burned electrical smell and then you can see right here there's a little charred area and then if you look at the back of it I wrote bad on there but anyway it's discolored right here you could tell it got hot so what I did is um, took this thing apart so there's these little tabs on the side here where you can pull this up and off <clears throat> so anyway I pulled this thing apart I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, right here, this thing is cooked, man. It's like black, charred, and it stinks. And then um, 
th this is bubbled up and deformed and uh, I actually took this board off also earlier in the back of it's all charred so anyway this uh, part number see it there anyway that part number it says uh, I can't quite see it there you are here in frame there it says Siemens EPG 57018 okay and if you put that in Google and search for that part you're not going to find anything so what I did is I went to the LG website and tried to find a replacement but I couldn't find it so what I did is I just went on eBay and I wrote down Bosch um, panel controller and I just scrolled through all the photos and I found this one that looks completely identical to the other one the guy wanted sixty dollars for it and um, he said it was off a good used unit that had some other problem and so I bought it um, for sixty bucks and we'll see if it works but it's got a different part number on it look at that EPG 57117 anyway it's got all the same connectors on it so anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop okay I'm back I just readjusted the camera a little bit so we could look at this well it's been a day since I took this apart so let's uh, see if I can uh, figure out how it goes back in here I took photos of it as I was taking it apart Let's see here. All right. So that's good. Okay. Let's uh, put this good one in here. So here's the good part. And here is where it goes in. And as you can see, there's these little cutouts all right here along the top. So, and then on the part, there's cutouts also so it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the opening it slides into the channel and then click so if you can see that there's these little buttons you know not buttons but little pieces of pressure plastic that click in place and now it's solid as you can see it doesn't go all the way to the edge and there's a big opening here and as you can see there's one two three four five six buttons on this and on the front of this machine there's only four buttons and there's a dummy plates for two so different models I guess have different features so um, not all of them use it so hopefully this uh, board will work with this model and we'll see so let's uh put this puppy back in here the handles got to go there's a handle right here that's going to go inside this slot for one thing okay very good and um, as you can see there's little uh, slots one two three four five six six slots that the metal piece clicks into on the black and then on the sides, there's, um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's also little clickers on this side and um, on this side right here. So it gets held in here. Where am I at? It gets held in here, here, and then these across the top. Okay. So when we get this back on the machine, we have to plug in the connectors to this one and to here. So I'll turn you off and get you over on the machine. Okay, I'm back. So, so far we got the uh, blue, orange, and red in. So the next one is the green plug that pops in here. And there's really only one way that that goes in there. And that's not the right way. There we go. 
that's in. Next one is the blue one. And yeah, it's slotted, so like I said, it can only go in one way. Where's my slots at? Here they are. Okay, that one's in. And the next one is, we'll go to the end one first. The end one is green and purple. Okay. And then we got Okay. The last one is, I believe, the power. So we'll put that puppy in there. Okay, and then there's a ground that goes here. And then the on off switch has its own two. I'll get my screwdriver out and run these in. Okay, I'm back. Um, just to let you guys know, this goes in first, and then it gets held in by these screws here on the side, and then the two screws here. I just put a couple in there to begin with. And then the main panel here slides in under this and then it gets held in by all the screws that are along the side so I'm gonna run those in and the screws are not standard screws they're Torx and let me see here Torx 27 Torx 30 so that don't make any sense Anyway, I think there are Torx 28 or 29, according to my deal here. It's this one. Right between 27 and 30. So, I don't know, 28, 29? Who knows? So, I'll run these in, and I'll get back with you, and we'll test this puppy out. Okay, I'm back. I ran in all the screws. Lost one somewhere, but... I'll just recap. So here's the dishwasher, and the screws are there, 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 there. And then on the back side, I don't know, it's hard to see, but anyway. Same thing on the other side. So, let me uh, shut this door here and we will hit, we'll hit what? Regular wash. Oh, it's doing something. Well, I'm going to hit quick wash. Oh, I, I hear stuff. It says 136 minutes. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I'll give you guys an update. It may have to... Uh, kind of reset itself because there was water in there. It got interrupted mid-cycle. Okay, I'm sweating. Peace out, YouTube.